guys, it's Chris with Imaginative Magic here. Today I've got a trick that is definitely going to make your show 50 times more interactive. It's going to get the kids and the adults at the same time. And the best part is they're not going to see the end result coming at all. All right, what we have right here is I have three rabbits. All right, we have a yellow rabbit, we have a gray rabbit, and we have another yellow rabbit, all right? All three of them in one little group. Now, this gray rabbit right here loves to play hide-and-seek, okay? He loves the fact that people are going to try to find him, so he'll try to find the best hiding spot possible. Now, usually in a game of hide-and-seek, what you do is you close your eyes and you count to ten, but because you would be doing this during a magic show, you wouldn't want anybody to close their eyes. So, as a replacement, you take a handkerchief and you just drape it over the cards like so, okay? Now, everybody's going to count to ten. Are you ready? including you watching the video, because I know you're going to do it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, hey, hey, no peeking. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's gone. Oh, you see, you don't believe me, but check this out, all right? Here's one yellow rabbit, and here's the other yellow rabbit. As you can see, guys, the third rabbit, completely gone. And, of course, the kids are going to start laughing. Even the adults are going to start laughing. They're going to say, oh, what's underneath the handkerchief? And you say, oh, well, there's nothing there. You can put anything into your routine. You know, oh, well, you know, I don't, I don't see anything. There's nothing on top of it. Eventually, they're going to say, lift up the handkerchief. We want to see what's underneath it. And you say, oh, underneath it. Okay. Fooled you. And there's a reason why this is called the fooled and fooled again rabbits, because they're obviously going to say, you know, hey, we want to see the other side of the card. Flip the card over. So then you'd be like, okay, I'll flip the card over. You know, you could do pretty much anything you want with this. Press it against your chest, turn it around, just like this. Spin it in a circle. But eventually the kicker is going to be that when they turn the card over, you're going to say, fooled you again. Now, that's, that's one part of it. The other part is that the rabbit is actually hiding. You can have it in your pocket. You can have it taped against the wall. I personally like to keep, keep the rabbit so that way I can pull the rabbit out of my hat just like this. It's a great trick guys. It works. It definitely, definitely works. It makes your, your shows so much more interactive. I should know. I use it myself. Adults love it. Kids absolutely get a kick out of it and you can pretty much do anything with it and it comes with multiple routines. But you'll see that when you get the trick. I definitely suggest you try it out because it will work. 